Welcome to Fold It Lab Report number 14. I don't have 14 fingers. Um, I am BKEP, here with my colleague Ian H. We are at the Institute for Protein Design. If this is your first time watching Fold It Lab Reports, we put out these monthly video updates on the first of the month to give some background about the research we're doing here at the IPD and with the rest of the Folded team. In this month's news, we got some aflatoxin results back. The Aflatoxin Challenge is a collaboration with the Siegel Lab at UC Davis. The Siegel Lab is interested in designing a new protein enzyme that can degrade the aflatoxin compound. Aflatoxin is a naturally occurring toxin that contaminates a large portion of the global food supply. An enzyme that could degrade aflatoxin would be very useful for making cheap food more plentiful. Previously, in September of 2019, we challenged Foldit players to design enzymes that could break down aflatoxin. Since then, the Siegel Lab has been testing Foldit designs, and they recently found three protein hits. These are proteins designed by Foldit players, which seem to have some activity in degrading the aflatoxin molecule. This is promising news, and now we want to optimize these designs to improve their activity. One way to do this is to better understand how these designs are folding up in the absence of aflatoxin. So, in the new aflatoxin puzzles, we are challenging you to fold up these player designs so that we can understand how these designs fold before they encounter the aflatoxin molecule. And that brings us to the rest of our puzzle updates. In addition to a few of the aflatoxin puzzles, we've launched a number of new folded puzzles this month. One puzzle that I'm really excited about is the two-sided interface design puzzle that we've launched. In this puzzle, we have two separate proteins that we want to come together in solution. So we have to design a brand new protein interface where they come together so that they'll bind in the correct orientation. This is different from binder design puzzles, which you're more used to, where we have a fixed target that represents a natural protein that we can't change. In the two-sided interface design, we have control over both sides of the interface, and so we can design a very specific binding site for the two proteins. Two-sided interface design is a unique problem that our computer algorithms have a really tough time with. So if folded players can solve this problem, it would be immensely useful for protein materials design projects. Long term, we're thinking about new protein materials or even protein devices. We know that natural proteins come together to form very sophisticated structures like rotors and signal transducers. If we want to create protein structures like these someday, we'll need to get very good at designing interfaces where they come together. Also this month, we saw lots of binder design puzzles for the coronavirus spike protein and also to help with coronavirus inflammation. In addition, we saw a brand new target this month for MERS coronavirus spike. MERS is a respiratory disease very much like COVID-19 and is also caused by a coronavirus. Just like the COVID-19 coronavirus, the MERS virus uses a spike protein to infect human cells, and there's still no known treatment for MERS. Scientists here at the University of Washington are interested in designing and testing possible treatments for coronaviruses like MERS. Just like in the previous spike binder design puzzles, in the new MERS puzzles, we are asking Foldit players to design new protein binders that can bind to the MERS spike and stop infection. In our last puzzle update this month, we saw more symmetric design puzzles. We are continuing to challenge you to design new symmetric protein complexes where the same protein will come together to bind itself. And that brings us to this month's design of the month. In November, we have a design from Charlie Fort's Conscience from puzzle 1900. This is a symmetric trimer design puzzle where we have three identical protein chains that will come together to form a symmetric trimer. What's unusual about Charlie's design is that it uses beta sheets at the interface. Now, normally this is tough to do because beta sheets tend to be kind of flat and don't give great shape complementarity to one another. It's hard to design beta sheets that come together without producing voids. However, Charlie Fort here has figured out a way to get very nice packing between his three sheets at the interface. Um, and we see that although there are maybe some tiny voids on one side, 
down here, there's really nice packing between some great hydrophobic residues. Um, and this hydrophobic, well-packed interface will cause very tight binding if this protein folds up. One thing to be careful about here is that this interface does have a large patch of exposed hydrophobic residues. This is probably the only thing I'd be worried about in this particular protein is that this large patch of hydrophobic residues could cause this protein to misfold or it could aggregate with other proteins in the cell before it assembles into the trimer. But overall, this looks like a very nice interface designed by Charlie. There is also a hydrogen bond network, although it's important to note that this hydrogen bond network exists at the periphery of the interface where solvent can get to. So this is not the strongest network, but it still should help to improve specificity when these protein chains come together. So this is a bit of an unusual design for Foldit, but we still very much like to see Foldit players come up with new and unfamiliar protein structures in these puzzles. So great work to Charlie for its conscience. If you want us to look at your favorite solutions, be sure to save and upload for scientists. We always love to see what you are most excited about. That's all we have for this month. In November, you can look forward to office hours from Beta Helix and Scooper. Thanks for watching, thanks for playing, and we'll see you next time.